I'm saying she posts more vlogs, guys. Tell her, comment down below. <laughs> if you're ever in Jamaica, please come to Nail the Kim on IG. <laughs> Saturday and I'm going on a hike with my gym and I'm with my friend Sandy. Hi. Oh and the road is definitely crazy. Oh <laughs> right, the road is not it's not very good. The road full of potholes. We'll just take time. Yeah, they must ten. Ten. <laughs> ten miles. Group one is doing right. ten miles. Okay. Where's the slow one? Look at the ten miles. <laughs> Chris is doing ten miles today. Five miles. Lies. <laughs> Chris is not going to stop. <laughs> Sandy, right. bye. Yeah, yeah. Leave it's 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 walking with weights. Ten miles. Yeah. You're not doing so I'm leaving. You crazy? I'm leaving my slow poke friend behind yeah. for the slow group. <laughs> <laughs> See, I wouldn't want to be here. Then leaving me for the fast group. <laughs> Peace and serenity in nature. This is one of the one of the reasons why I love living in Jamaica and why I've delayed my trip back to America. What that you just pick? Burvine. Knows all about the bushes and the medicinal properties of the bushes. Okay. Look who it is. Two miles. Two miles done already. Daddy. How we feeling? Great. Hi. Self to blow. <laughs> that was 4.7 miles. Welcome to Spanish Bridge, Jamaica. So we are coming with a force, yeah. Blessing the area for we go is in our foot. Oh, in our eyes on us. Yeah, we give thanks like we need it the most. Yeah, we give thanks like we need it supposed to be thankful. Blessing the area. This is a long time and dip and all that already. <laughs> Tell her how to hold it good now, please. Here, here. Right. Okay. Make sure you're not going to reach end. Too much people are talking to my friend and I can't feel that. Love them and end up them. Sucks to be you. Give them everything and then go to somebody else. Well, nobody cares with that. Come here, you, Aquaman. What's his old sign? Mine? Yeah. Virgo, I'm a virgin. That's why you're so funny. She swung from the rope. You know, on the bridge. Top of the bridge and you swing down. Look at that. Twice. Twice. You're free. Do you live here? Okay, cool. Yeah. So you're just helping out. Huh? You look at money. You're like, oh, oh you get a look at money. You look money, get a money. All right, that's smart. <laughs> wow! Having fun in Jamaica, baby. Thank you. 
Next time, my friend, next time. Oh, what is? Come on to the road. I got to the gym on time, but guess what I forgot to bring? My wallet, my driver's license, everything. I guess I ran out without it. So I have no money and I have no driver's license. So hopefully I get back to my house without the police stopping me. And hopefully I don't have to spend any money. Yeah, let's see how you do under pressure. Oh, yeah, I've been wanting this forever. I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me. Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better. Okay. Hey. Hey guys, so I'm at the nail salon and I'm getting a fresh set. So stay tuned, this is the before. So pretty! Good morning! Today I'm going to get my hair done to the salon we go. Inspired by Kim, my sister. Yeah, <laughs> she was so me to do it. <laughs> She does that. She's so I mean, I have my own little thing on WhatsApp. Oh, where it's nice. I just do my workout and I post like my time, mm -hmm. my calorie burn. I love that. Whatever. So, yeah, I'm kind of getting. It's, it's kind of weird for me because I'm like, I'm yeah. not really like that person to put myself out there. It kind of feels personal. Like, yeah. 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 I like that obsessive self. Yeah. Life. Like, I like being a little bit mysterious. Like, if you're in my inner circle, so, then it's okay to know what's going on in my day to day. But then, for just random person to mm -hmm. know aspects about mm -hmm. your life or your personality, because it's going to come out. It's true. That makes you vulnerable. I you know, know, but yes, so. In this but age, you have to do it. You have to. Attention is what they say attention is a new currency. And there we go. And if you're not, if you don't know how to command attention mm -hmm. and keep attention in this day and age, I, I don't know if you can be successful. In any business. Wow, and that's fact. And that was a little <laughs> advice at the end, but this is a little vlog. Oh my god. Yes, guys, so this is Nikki. Hi. And <laughs> she's right here just for today. Hello. We're doing a low half of half down. I'm so yes, excited. Yes, we are. And it, well, it should be glam, so stay tuned. Put it behind your internal. Hair is done. I look like a Barbie. I love it. <laughs> okay, so we are at an event at Hope Gardens in Jamaica. It's called Pizza and Kitchen. I always wanted to go to like a food festival in Jamaica, so let's see what it's about. Come where you get this sexy dress from? I never buy me one. It's sexy bad. Watch your back, cut out, cut out. Yes, sir. I guess this is where I get my shape from. <laughs> We are so excited! Hi, <laughs> okay, say hi! Can can say hi! Hello, you look so beautiful. Thank you, so do you. We have matching hairstyles. Dear. All right, thanks. No, to can from I need the hot something. And it's biting you? Yeah. I don't go nowhere without my wood arm. Just show me where it's a bite. Not no more bites here again, no. gonna get next this sound really good mango passion scotch wings oh let's try the pig still mommy yeah you <laughs> thank you darling Kara, why are you eating rum pig trying pig still Ten. That's not ten. Let's stop eating. Huh? Give me fourteen of them. I don't know about you, but I love me some cake, honey.
We might have to try the big bag. How is the big bag, guys? How is the big bag? Try it later. Good morning! So today is Tuesday. It's around 12 p.m. I'm actually on my way to the beauty supply store because guess what? I've been wearing my natural hair and I love it, but I'm tired of combing my own hair. Like the whole reason why my hair grew this long, in my opinion, is because I've been getting treatment and I've been like putting it in protective cells and the protective style has been braiding it down, a braid down and putting wigs over it. So my hair is untouched, it gets to grow in peace. I don't have to think about it, so. I'm not gonna lie, I really love my natural hair. I've been enjoying wearing it, but I've been wearing ponytails for like two and a half months now. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I want something that I can easily take off, put on, switch up when I want, because I feel like sew-ins and like braids, literally it's annoying because like, what if you decide, say, what if you decide, say, you put the braids in today and what if you decide a week later that you don't want it? You don't spend five hours in a salon. No, you have to go and take this thing out. It's just too much. Like, I, I just can't be bothered, so. But as right now, I'm all about wearing your natural hair and embracing, you know, your natural beauty in a sense. It's weird, right? Because I'm a makeup artist and I love stuff like that. Anyways, it, it, that's besides the point. I feel like you should be able to be comfortable in your own skin, um, comfortable in your own skin enough to wear your own hair which I have done. However, I just need to put a wig on for convenience, honestly. That's just where I'm at. Like, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I got my hair braided yesterday. And I'm just wearing a headscarf now from CC's Closet in New York, I love them. Um, yeah, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out a hairstyle that I can do with a wig that doesn't require using a whole bunch of glue or a whole bunch of um, free spray. So I'm going to be trying the headband wig style because you guys know I go, I go to the gym five days a week so I don't really want to get a hairstyle that I put and then it's like getting icky icky when I go to the gym or it's like sliding backwards like giving me heat rash because I'm sweating where the lace is so I just want to see if I can um, get like some headbands and do like the headband trend with the wig and like wear it temporarily and then when I'm done you know look, looking cute for whatever content or whatever i'm trying to do i can just take it off and just be like in my wig braids being comfortable so yeah let's go i don't see no headband in this place can i ask people i'm working Excuse me, ma'am. Hello. Yes, you still have bands? Only what? Okay. Only that little green one. My gosh. This is not much aesthetic for me. I go for. This have too much going on. This is not cute. Oh, see it down here. Them have it. Seriously? Them have. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I got these three colors. This can work. I was really looking for a black headband still. If I can't find it, I'll just make this work. She's back. <laughs> I have on a wig again. This is gonna sound so crazy. I haven't worn a wig in over four months. It's crazy. Ever since like I started wearing wigs, that's the longest I've ever gone without a wig. 
<laughs> Anywho, so I'm actually I'm wearing the headband about today, but I am trying to lay down <laughs> this little wig. So that's why I have on this black thing. I must take it off soon and show what it look like. Alright, look now I'm grinding field time. Wow. Let me get cut. Oh, not bad. So I just like laid down this old wig I had with free spray. I had to do it twice, so I sprayed free spray on my skin and then I stick on the wig on top of it after it like dried a little dried a little bit, like got a little sticky, and then I went in again. Um, just to super secure it for tonight. And what I love about this is when I'm done doing what I'm doing, I can just quickly wash my face with soap and let this soap get here and it will slide right off. It won't affect my edges and I'll be fine. <laughs> I can go about my business without the wig. So that's what I mean by it's just really convenient to work with. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. The little headband trend thing. What do y'all think? I think it's not bad, like, it's not bad. So I'm gonna do a fall makeup look soon, so look out for that. I thought, like, I'm probably gonna post it on Sunday. This Sunday, let's see, let's just hope, because I'm gonna have to edit the two videos, this vlog and then the makeup tutorial. Wish me luck. But I'm, I'm going to try, I'm gonna push myself. So, makeup tutorials on Sunday, vlogs on Friday, don't forget, but yeah. So, stay tuned. When I finish my makeup, I'm gonna come back and show you. So, this is before, and wait for after. I am done, guys. I think I really have this makeup look up. I really love the eyeshadow. If you guys know me, I have hooded eyes and I don't really enjoy wearing eyeshadow, but this is really nice. Like I can see myself wearing more eyeshadow like this. Let me know what y'all think. And if you want to see or achieve this look, check out my tutorial this Sunday. Good morning. I'm here to show you guys my skin. Remember when I got my facial um, in my last vlog? Look at it. It's looking so glow. It's flourishing. I'm about to put my sunscreen on. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the food festival kind of made my skin break up a little because I feel like, well, I'm not sure. I'm not a doctor. I'm not sure, but I'm just going based off like my observations with my own skin. And I feel like when I consume too much sugary stuff or too much dairy, I get like one, two bump here and there. And also if um, my period is coming, which it is, it's scheduled to come any day now. I feel like my, I get like a couple bumps on my face and I get a bit bloated and there's nothing I can do about that. So yeah, but in terms of, you know, the glow on my face, natural glow, like you see how tight my skin looks, how my pores look nice and tight, look, my pores look nice and my pores look nice and clean and you're not seeing my big pores anymore. Yeah. So yeah, that's the facial. Yeah, so I'm not going to lie to y'all, like... <laughs> The night before last night something really weird happened like i was sleeping on my side and all of a sudden i felt my body like tingling and i felt like my head started to get heavy and i could literally like sense with my eye closed like i could feel something being lifted out my chest it was it was a really weird experience anyways i prayed i said i said psalms 23 and so I was able to get out of that state. Now, I'm trying to understand what that is about because... I don't know, it's a bit strange. Has that ever happened to you? Like, have you ever had the feeling where you start to feel pinned down in bed? I don't like that one. That's one of the reasons why I do not sleep on my back because that's just really weird. But I think now I'm able to, like, stop it from getting to that point because I think... Before you get, before you feel pinned down, you start to feel tingly and your head starts to feel heavy and it starts to feel like a weight is, is coming down on your, on your chest, on your heart or something. Um, but yeah, the prayer works to really get that feeling away. But I, I would love to understand, like, I wish I could like, I'm going to pray about it, but I wish I could like ask God, like, what is that? Cause you know, like in this world, they say, some people might say, oh, like I Googled it. They're like, oh, it's sleep paralysis, but like, they ask Jamaican people and they're like, yes, demon, spiritual. <laughs> and then you go, you go again and you look again and it's talking about like, oh, that's like the beginning stages of astral projection. And I'm just like, there's just too much confusion. Like, what is the truth? Like, what is the truth these days? Like, I don't know. I'm just going to... So I don't know, 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 but I, listen, last night, I didn't know what had to happen to me again. So, and I have this thing where I wake up, I go to my bed early because I'm tired. I don't know, I'm just like a baby, I go to my bed really early and then I, 
and then I take a sleep for a couple hours and I wake up and then I'm like super productive. I get work done. I'm up until like 2 a.m. or like 1 a.m. 1 a.m. 1 a.m. 1 a.m. 2 a.m. And then I go back to bed. I feel like it usually, for me, it only, that type of feeling only happened to me around those hours. I'm just like, there's something kind of creepy about that. Like, I don't know. Like, do, don't they say like evil spirits walk around a certain hour? other nights like they like early mornings i don't know i don't know i'm not trying to be negative here um because i feel like your mind is very powerful so last night i was just like of course i went and told my jamaica people and they're like i told some jamaican people and they're like girl it's demon da -da -da -da. make sure you're sleeping in clothes da -da 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 -da. and then <laughs> No, not laughing because it's stupid, but laughing because it's just like, it's just kind of crazy. And then they're like, girl, um, your man is a demon, they might try to get you, you know? I was like, okay, evil spirits, you know, evil spirits, you know, them love early morning. I'm like, okay. And, they, and I'm just like, I'm just like, okay, well, I cannot be afraid of this thing because there's no way if it's an evil spirit, it's not going to run me out of my room, my bed. So... That's not gonna work for me. So when it happens and I wake up, I look around because I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I told my friend about it once and he was like, um, that happened to me once and I looked around in the room and I saw like something strange looking at me and it looked very demonic and I was like, what? So when that happened to me like two days ago, I, I, I woke up and I was I was looking around because I was like, let me just see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's I don't know if that's weird. Maybe I should be looking. I don't know, guys. I'm just being real. So I just wanted to, I'm just trying to figure out if, what the hell this thing is, to be honest. And I feel like you cannot approach it with fear because I feel like if you approach it with fear, then maybe your mind will like make you start to see like shadowy figures that look demonic. I don't know, okay? But for me, I'm just like, I'm not trying to be scared because I don't want a demon running out of my bed at the end of the day. And I feel like I just need to seek more knowledge and I feel like I need to see God and figure out what this is. So what I did last night, because I did go to my bed um, around two, exactly 2 a.m. yesterday, I went to my bed as well. I did read my Bible, right? And it's hard for me to limit screen time because I get my work done at night, honey. I get my work done at night. So apparently you should like limit your screen time. But I was using my laptop <laughs> and my um, phone right before I went to bed. I'm sorry, that's something I need to work on. So I read my Bible. This time, instead of like continuing from where I am in the Bible, I went to Psalms and I read Psalms 23 and I read it over three times out loud. And I said, I'm not going to have no fear. Like God got my back and whatever is going to happen when I fall asleep tonight, um, God is going to protect me and I should not be, I should not be afraid. I should have faith. And I left my Bible open because someone suggested I left my, leave my Bible open. So I did that. And I slept and I woke up quite fine, quite rested, quite peachy. So I don't know. It's so interesting that when I'm in that state, like if I if I say blood of Jesus cover me, or like I start to I start to like say a Bible verse or something, you just immediately come out of that state. Or if you start to pray, immediately come out of that weird trancy state. I don't know what I don't know what to call that state. That weird tingly state where it just feel like something is coming over your body and trying to like conquer you in the night. <laughs> Um, it's very interesting that prayer really works help to get you out of that. It works every time and sometimes I feel like if I'm getting like flustered, if I'm getting a bit like anxious in the in the state and like and I'm not praying, I like I'm just seeing what's happening, it's still overcoming me. But when I pray, I get out of it. And it's so interesting that um just not not just not being fearful and I start reading my Bible before bed, keeping my Bible open and just falling asleep you know, with that last bit of faith and that last prayer, you know, to clean your aura, clean your spirit, that it's fine. So I'm going to keep doing that and see what happens. I'm going to keep you all updated. I must keep, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and I'm going to tell you if it happens again, um, even after I read my Bible and keep it open and all this stuff. So I don't know. Let me, let me know. Some people are saying it's astral projection. I did some research on that, saying that it's like demonic or something. I don't know, guys. I'm just a human being. So that's happened to me. But I guess what I'm trying to get at is trying to tell y'all that in life, it doesn't matter what you're encountering. Have faith. Do not be fearful. When you let your fears conquer you, that is when you're going to lose the battle. You cannot allow fear to conquer you. you cannot allow fear to conquer your mind, conquer your life. 
Just go, walk with faith, and whatever the situation is, you will be fine because God has got your back. So always remember that, Psalms 23. And that's how I'm going to leave you today. And I love you guys so much. Please comment. I, you know, I appreciate the comments because it's really making me encouraged and it's making me see how I can better serve you guys with these vlogs you know honey like i'm trying to understand what you guys want to see in the vlogs and also it's going to really help my engagement so please leave a comment love Mwah. and stay tuned for episode three love you so much walk with faith trust god have no fear you got this love you bye Mwah.